fit in wherever I fit in and just, you know, go play football. Is it fun? Yeah, no, it's fun because you actually get to go full speed in a, in a straight line, you know, linebacker side to side and you're kind of weaving it out of people, but kick off and punch, just kind of go. Yeah, How important I know. is it though that you're trying to show you can do these things for the next level as far as running down on kicks and trying to long snap down those types of things? I mean, it's just a bonus. It's just a bonus because I get to help help my team and, you know, fortunately for me, it helps, helps myself maybe for the next level. So uh, my main focus is helping the team and, and, and making plays on those special teams because that's a big part of the game. But, uh, you know, it helps me obviously in the future too. I know you got to treat every game as a big game around mm -hmm. here, but you guys, as a senior, you've never been to Wisconsin. I mean, yeah. is there, is this a hurdle that this program has to kind of jump over? You know, I think so. And I, but I think seven and zero. I mean, that's we haven't been that since what two thousand one or, or, or something. So. I mean, this this team's already done something pretty amazing, but uh, we didn't come into the season to be 7-0 or 8-0. We came in trying to get to uh, Indianapolis. So this is definitely a, a big hurdle, but we got to treat it the same. We can't get uh, uptight and, and start changing our ways now. You know, we have to keep that that, that steady lane and, and keep doing what we're doing. Fans and media always bring up pass games, mm -hmm. but as a player, do you think much about pass games or is that – uh, the only thing I guess you could say that we think of from, from past games is learning from it, you know, watching the film, seeing what we got beyond, on, seeing why uh, certain plays broke or we stopped certain plays and, and trying to put that all into the kind of perfect mix for when we play them. You probably do think of that as one of the low points, though, two years oh, ago. Wisconsin? Yeah. yeah, no, that was not a not a fun day, not a fun trip home. And, uh, you know, try and forget about it, but definitely learned a lot from it. You look, at, you look at these two defenses pretty even statistically, but it seems like a lot of maybe fans we did say Wisconsin's got this great defense. They're, they're good. Do you guys feel overlooked at all coming into this game? Uh, yes and no. Uh, we, we don't really pay attention to too much of that. I mean, at the end of the day, we got to go play our game. And, yeah. uh, but even if even if they are overlooking us and stuff, it's nice to be the underdog because, you know, I, you can say there's no there's no pressure to, to perform up to that standard. we got nothing to lose. We're just going to go out there and play our hardest and, and – do what we got to do to win. What do you think is the biggest reason for you guys' improvement overall as a defensive unit? Just being comfortable. We, we finally found our groove that, you know, everyone every week is bought into the game plan and, and, and studies uh, the film as hard as they can study it, and, and they know what to do when we get to game day. What do you remember about Camp Randall and just the atmosphere and the environment there going there on the road? Oh, it's an amazing atmosphere. I mean, kind of in the beginning of the game, it's not fully filled up because I think some of the students are – you know, getting a little bit of liquid courage in them, but then by the by the end of halftime and stuff, then it's full and and they're they're ready to go and they're loud. And, um, it's obviously got a ton of history uh, with the jump around and stuff, so it's it's a fun atmosphere. We just hope we come out on the you know winning side of it and, and end them on a quiet note. Now everyone has different approaches on the jump around, like opposing teams. Some mm -hmm. just ignore it. Some other opposing teams kind of embrace it and get involved in it themselves. Yeah. I mean, what will your approach be to jump around? I don't know if I'll get involved with it, but it's just kind of fun to fun to look at. I mean, it, you know, before I was in college, you, you see it, you watch it, and it's it's this awesome thing, and, and the stadium's kind of bumping up and down, and you see it. So it's a cool thing to see. Um, you know, I'm trying not to get involved with it, but uh, definitely, you know, don't ignore it. It's part of the college experience. It's part of the whole atmosphere, so it'll be uh, fun to see it again. What about Corey Clement, the running back. I mean, no, he's done. What do you? I mean, you, what's the challenges you're going to face with him this week? Uh, he's just an all. Gosh, he's just an all-around back. You know what I mean? Some some guys, you're like, all right, uh, not going to make you miss and take him out low and should be all right. Some guys, you know, you got to break down a little bit more and, and go get him because you know they'll they'll break your ankles. But he he's kind of the whole package. He can run through you. He can run around you. And um, you know, once he gets going, he, he's a he's a load. So. It's going to be fun fun playing him. It's going to be a fun contest, and I'm, I'm excited to compete with him. Like your workload in games has been sometimes half the snaps because of the formations. I mean, this week, are you saying, you know what, i got to be ready for about 70, 80 yeah, snaps? Yeah, no, I'm definitely ready to be bruised and beat up on the, on the plane ride home. It, it's just, this is real real old school football, and uh, it's the kind of football I like because, um, you know, I'm a little bit a little bit thicker, and I don't like running sideline to sideline as much. And so down, downhill is the kind of game I want, and that's what Wisconsin's going to give us. Yeah, they're not going to. I mean, they'll shift, but they're not going to formation you and spread you. It's going to be. Oh no, yeah, they're they're cutthroat, do what they do, and um, you know they're going to grind and, and keep with the with the program the whole game. So they're they're going to try and wear us down. Your training guys busier this time of year than probably any other. Do you remember last year when you had that going in your game? I remember Riley a couple weeks ago said how 
tongue in cheek, he said, that I got sick of him. I mean, is that kind of how it is in a fun way, the relationship between you and the trainers, just how you guys are? The training staff? Yeah, the, the, the Mark Mayer and his group. Oh, yeah. No, they're, they're a good group. I uh, obviously don't like seeing them because that means I'm hurt, but uh, it's definitely a, definitely a good atmosphere all the way around, you know, from, from them to the to the weight staff to the coaches. It's, it's a good atmosphere, and everyone's uh, fun and joking no matter what, what the situation is but knows when to be serious. So, and that's definitely a good relationship. Do you remember last year how long you were in there off? I mean, during the uh, I mean, when – Pretty much the whole season after I got hurt. I mean, I was in there most of my free time. Uh, you know, it's kind of kind of gets old when you got to wake up extra early before a class just to get another round of treatment in. But you know, got to do it. To get, so you get, get to know those guys pretty. Yeah, well. no, you get to know them really well.